Hey guys, how's it going? It's Helpful Lockpicker here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over how easily you can open up a Master Lock Realtor Box. This is such an iconic lock in the United States, and it must make you wonder how secure are these when they are secured to your home. So what we're going to do is do a detailed overview on how we can open up a Master Lock model number 5400D with one of the popular methods. More information is coming up on this in just a second. Please stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, so we're ready to get started with decoding this lock. So with the method we're going to use today, what we need is we're going to need a pick that is nice and thin, so one in 15 thousandths would do, and one with a really nice steep hook. If you want to have the exact pick I have here, this is going to be a Peterson hook number 7 in 15 thousandths. So what we need to do is we're going to need to have a pick that's going to be thin enough to get over the right side of the wheel and it's going to be able to go through. Then you're going to need to make sure that you're going to have a steep enough hook so you can pull on this bar at the top and be able to tension it. When you have that bar tensioned and you start to flick through the wheels, you're going to feel that there is some resistance. And once you get close to the correct number, I feel like the resistance actually feels stronger and then it just sort of pops into place. And you can kind of hear it too. And once you get through all of the right numbers, they kind of all pull together in a straight line, is what I have found in my experience. So let's try to do this right now. So we're going to make sure we're reset to all zeros going across. So in order to do this, we're going to want to decode the very first wheel, because that's what makes sense. So in order to decode the first wheel, we're going to tension the wheel to the right of it in position 2. So we're going to now put the lock down on the table so it's easy to hold. We're going to put some good strong tension on this so that we're going to be able to feel what we're doing. And then we're going to start to flick through these. So just going through, we're just going to wait until we feel the tension build and then it will kind of snap in place. So in one, it, it sort of felt like it snapped in place. So one is probably the right one for the first position. Now, in order to do the subsequent ones, two, three, and four, we're going to tension off wheel one. And then we're going to be able to flick through them like we were doing before. So let me try to do this for you right now. So we're going to tension and pull nice and taut, and we're just going to flick through these. And it just made a nice snapping sound into seven. And then keeping our tension, did the same thing for seven in position three. It's getting really taut right here and it snapped right into six. As you can see, once you got to the end, it sort of pulled all of these together in alignment. So our code right here is going to be 1776. And in order to do that, once again, you want to tension off the second wheel and pull it taut to get the first code. And then you're going to move over to tensioning the first wheel. Then you're going to pull your tension and decode the subsequent wheels. Once you get to the end, in my experience, it kind of pulls the code through. So now let's try to open this with the code 1776. And we're going to now have an open. So this is a really cool thing to be able to do. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that was able to check it out. This is a really fun thing to do. And this is a really interesting thing to be able to decode. This is such a popular lock in the United States. It's really surprising how easy it is to decode. But either way, guys, if you enjoyed this and you would like to try it out for yourself, I'll put a link to a master lock model number 5400D in the description below so you can check it out. But if you guys have any questions or suggestions, anything at all, please feel free to leave that right in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.